Governor Greg Abbott's 30 day special session. He's charged lawmakers with giving Texas teachers a $1,000 pay increase. Teachers tell us they've heard this before, but KXAN political reporter Phil Prazen went to the Capitol today to look into the latest idea from the Texas House. Christy Smith teaches kindergarten in Pflugerville and says the pay is not keeping up with rising property taxes. But with 27 years experience, this isn't the first time she's heard politicians tell her they'd give her a raise. You know, put your money where your mouth is and fix that funding and fund us a real raise instead of saying, yay, teachers are going to give you a raise, but, you know, figure out how you're going to, where you're going to get this money from. I've covered a lot of committee hearings at the Capitol, and this is the first one I can remember that had more state money attached to a specific pay raise plan. So this is not another uh, unfunded mandate put on the back of our teachers. We need to get past that time where our teachers have to go buy Crayolas and paper for their classrooms. Representative Clardy's plan would phase in a merit pay system over the next 15 years, where it would grow to a billion additional dollars in state formulas. Members on the committee were skeptical future lawmakers would continue the program. Depending on future legislators to, to honor what the last guy said isn't always the case. So we're seeing some cracks in the system, admittedly, and, and we're trying hard to address that. But I'm confident those who will come after us will be just as committed to having quality teachers and quality classrooms. Committee members left the idea pending so they could iron out additional details before it moves to the full house. Getting it past the Senate will be more challenging. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Taking a closer look at the House plan, the Texas Education Agency would negotiate rules with stakeholders to set permanent benchmarks for teachers. An accomplished teacher who is nationally board certified, a distinguished teacher who will apply to be in the top 20% of their fields. They would have to be paid $68,000 per year within three years. A master teacher who will apply to be in the top 5% of their fields, they would make $85,000 a year within five years. They'd also make more for working on a rural or high poverty campus. As Phil mentioned, the Texas Senate has passed their own version of a teacher plan. Their plan does not include new state money, and it does not include a permanent pay raise, but instead a one-year bonus. It calls for delaying payments to the organizations that run the Medicaid program by nearly $200 million so they can spend that money on teachers. Texas is not the only state seeing a tough budget for education. A deepening budget crisis has forced some schools in Oklahoma to cut down on their school week from five down to four days. And a new survey suggests an additional 44 school districts may cut the number of school days or shorten the school year. We are waiting to learn.